Hello. We are now watching the cat running away. I mean... Okay, we're recording. We are now watching episode 8 of the Pacific. So, uh, in the last episode, they cleared the hills in Palelu. Palelu. Palelu, whatever. One of those words. And uh, Sledge has been definitely changed by this experience, as you can tell, at the end of the last episode where uh, he just ran out of fucks to give. And uh, even Snafu got worried for him, in a way. In his own unique way. In his own unique way, because it's, it's not for, um, for everyone. Yeah, and we saw how all his, uh, all the leaders he knew have all been taken out. Hillbilly, uh, Ak Ak, and the sergeant was left uh, depressed and even gave him his uh, zippo lighter. Yeah. So they've now gone back to uh, their island, uh, Pavuvu. I think that was what it was called. And this next episode. Should be, uh, well, this next episode is called Iwo Jima, so I think it's quite clear where they're going. <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, alright. And we haven't seen Lecky since the last, ep last episode when he was sent back wounded. And Basilon is dealing with his own demons. And, uh, yeah, let's go. It always amazes me, though. You see actors just acting completely around a green screen. And some of them are just so talented that it sells you on that. Kind of like Avatar. Like, they sell you the whole thing as a jungle. Yeah. Even though none of it was rendered. And none of it was real. Mm. Letters. Oh. God, can you imagine trying to change that? Maybe those were his? He looks very, he looks fit, but he doesn't look like a supermodel, which is, which really sells me on him being a Marine. Supermodel? Men at War, Ernest Hemingway. Um. Wow. Oh yeah. He's dumping the cat and stuff, I guess. Yeah, my eyes yellow? Why would your eyes be yellow? Come on, your old man's a doctor. Look at my eyes. Give it a rest, Snafu. I'll catch a fever, then turn inside out to my asshole like Carson and Love Company. <laughs> I'm dying, sir. Hey. <laughs> hey. You'll be all right, Jay. Sure, you just down the road. Yeah. Aw. I'm just down the road. That's sweet. Yeah. I mean, there are his boys. So oh, wow. Were his eyes yellow? No. It looked blue to me. Barlow works at the camouflage factory. This is so weird. Like two years. Oh, two years, well, two years, huh? Well, for one thing, yeah. I'd like to be this out there now fighting 44. with Johnny. Instead of making camouflage paint, that's where you're wrong. I'll never forget that day you left me He really sounds seas. bored. <laughs> he Johnny, really remember? Sounds All of us. Aha, uh -huh, that's right. You got up to go, <laughs> and what he said was goodbye, folks. I think I could act better than that. And that's just what happened. Well, at least he's alive in this family, so I bet they appreciate that. Mm. And it was like something out of Godfather. The way it was just shot. We're so proud of you. Well, all I do is dress up and say what they tell me. Well, everyone in America knows the. Oh, Van Grift. What can I do for you? Sir. My home is the core. Well. I just can't push pencils anymore. Please, I can go back and train the new kids. But you'd probably be a Marine. Thank you, sir. Bye. Oh, okay, good. So he's gonna do training of his own? He seems like a pretty humble person. Brought you back after he wants to do something. Hmm. Yes, sir. I'm just Caroline. No warm bun dry for me, though. Hmm. Hmm. We don't really care. It's a different world here. Might as well stay fit. I have to do those long mile jog jogs. Hmm. Company! 
fall in on your ass. Trying to give himself something to do. Name. Tatum, Charles, Private First Class. Evanson, Steve, Private First Class. Sergeant. Sergeant. That's John Vassalone. Who the hell is John Vassalone? Jesus, you live in a cave? <laughs> The guy killed like a thousand. Teamwork is the key to the Marine Corps. I mean, good thing about him is that he has experience, so he can. Oh, jeez. Get that gun out of the dark. Uh, sorry, guy. You dropped your rifle in a firefight. You died, Taylor. You cannot fuck this up. Ever. Lives depend on it. <laughs> is that clear? Hi, Gunny. Does he only have these two guys in no, his I was just wondering. <laughs> Break it down. I wonder if he's being harsh on them because he doesn't, he doesn't want his men to die. Yeah. He knows what it's like. Hey, right? Sergeant. So she's a sergeant too. Yeah, he on the back. Who? Gunny with the ocean and hair is down that slow. I know that actress. And here he comes. That's gonna bother me. <laughs> Looking up after. Oh, she was an obscure episode in uh, <laughs> Vampire. Control. No fraternizing. <laughs> What's her name? Sergeant Lena Riggi. I'm Lucy. <laughs> I'm seeing slight hair love like. What about the Greek uh, Australian? Like, sledge. Like, oh, sledge. Lucky, yeah. I thought you said lucky. So they're specifically showing this. Lady, I wonder if they marry. I'm assuming that's a town, right? Uh, here it comes. I'm Italian, you're Italian. <laughs> hey, we're probably related. He's really, he's totally infatuated, even though she clearly gave him a clear hint. <laughs> yeah. Looks <laughs> like it'll just be the two of us. She doesn't seem very happy. <laughs> Well, she already shot him down once, so that's probably why. Once or twice. Yeah. Tell the chef the Caesar salad was excellent. The porterhouse is a little tough. Lena, if I did something stupid, I'm sorry. You didn't do anything a million other guys haven't done. You just did it in a nicer room. Well. No. <laughs> How are the men shaping up? Well, two of them. The rest of the company comes in today from the inside. <laughs> They'll be pretty green, Gunny. Don't worry, sir. I'll take care of that. Well, you haven't got much time. Go with the doggies. Four on the court. Doggies is infantry, I guess. I understand. The army. Hmm. What is this about? In formation, two ranks behind me. Oh, he really is stubborn. I'm going to take out for proper dinner. Wow. He's really stubborn about this. Place I know just off the base. A restaurant. Clancy's? A little earlier, I'll make you French toast. That's nice. He did it. <laughs> Yay. He tried. <laughs> What happened to you, huh? So sick of this shit. Just wanna get out there and slap a jap. Said I wanna slap a jap, Gunny. <laughs> Half a jap. That's what the enemy is to you, huh? A fucking bug tooth cartoon dreamed up by some asshole on Madison Avenue to sell soap. Rice and muddy water for weeks and endure misery. You couldn't dream up in your worst nightmare. A Japanese soldier doesn't care if he gets hurt or killed, as long as he kills you. That's pretty much true. The way they trained. Call them whatever you want, but never, ever fail to respect their desire to put you and your buddies into an early grave. Oh no, she's going to throw it back at him. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> He's going to catch her with a bare hand. <laughs> yeah, 0, 500. <laughs> you strike me. 
Morning after the battle, my guys cooked up the coffee over a fire of green coconut logs. There wasn't any part of me that didn't hurt. Burns on my hands. Ears still ringing from the shelling. Oh, uh, yeah. But when they handed me that cup of coffee, I never tasted anything so good. Not that I don't appreciate this. <laughs> Nina. Yeah. You might hear this all the time. He has to try that line sometime. <laughs> he barely had the toast like one guy. He was complaining is, about the steak. This is the infuriating part about movies. Like they just yeah, eat they one just... bite and then they spend the whole thing talking. Yeah. You never see it. <sighs> At least the coffee was good. Well, he takes his job very seriously. Yeah. He's not uh, fucking around, at least. Cause he's he could have fucked it. around, too. He's seen no yeah. thing in Ready. real life. Oh, that general was off and taken out of there. Good. Make it easier to carry the gun with a hot barrel. Oh, he's... You won't burn your hands. Now, it's not made for stability and accuracy, but... Oh, because people, yeah, he burned his hand. Now they can. Oh yeah. I couldn't hit the side of a barn with that thing. Oh, they shot. You better start practicing. <laughs> <laughs> Man, for an episode called Iwo Jima, there's been that much Iwo Jima so uh, far. I, I know. I'm. Are they gonna do another beach landing? <laughs> She's taller than him, right? <laughs> I don't know, I don't even notice, to be honest. This is a pretty heartwarming episode. Yeah. Men do stupid things. <laughs> for, for women. Of course, it's a pin up. That's yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Sergeant John Vassalone has decided that home can wait. Oh, he's going with them. He will be joining us. Oh. Carry on, Gunny. Oh, Company, dismiss. Oh, whatever, I need to go leave my girlfriend. You guys <laughs> leave early. <laughs> Oh, she might not be happy with him going out. Oh, good point. Because he, he did tell her that he's gonna going that his back. enlistment ended in July. Good point. But he's going out still. But she she's staying, so he's back there. <laughs> oh. Nina. Every enlist. <laughs> I see. They can ship me out whenever they want. So if you You wanna go from here? Oh! Wow. No. You look so beautiful. She's our biggest fan. <laughs> It's a house. It's a trailer park in the corner, and you're gonna hear someone yell Jesse from it all the time. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, no. <laughs> <I'm> kidding. <laughs> bank is you. Oh yes. So this is the classic Marine ma mating ritual. <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna have six kids. <laughs> Jeez, what about her? Can you imagine having to carry six kids? Jesus. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my god. Oh, what? Yeah, now they're Iwo Jima. That was so sudden. There's no way they could do this beach landing in justice. It's really massive. Wow, 
the show just only flipped. Yeah, it did. Yeah. What the hell? Fucking, he is amazing. Yeah, he is. I can't believe he can do that. He's married now. He must be terrified of this shit. How's those two? She can't care. He's out of fucks. You just really need to have somebody like him to lead. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah, this beach landing was a nightmare. Something like that was gonna happen. Well, I came prepared today. <laughs> Six kids. Hmm. <sighs> Fuck, I think it was it was mentioned in one of the books that a Medal of Honor recipient died on Iwo Jima. I feel like I read that bit somewhere. Oh. Fucking hell. Mm. Yeah, there we go. Lena Bassett. Can I look look her up? Yeah, sure. Any 
She looks vaguely familiar, but it's... Oh, yeah. I've seen her somewhere. Or we've seen her somewhere. It's been driving me mad. That was a very heartwarming yet heart heartbreaking episode. It was heartwarming, and then it was heartbreaking. And it flips suddenly, just like that. Yeah. <sighs> I was afraid that was going to happen, because I don't remember... I don't know what happens to John Baseline. Because he's not the... He's not an he, author. Friends... She dated Joey in that episode where she kept taking his fries. Joey doesn't share food! Oh, that's her? I kept- I knew it! <laughs> that's the card, Susie. I don't know anybody- I don't know any other She was in Friends. Stop I like how it. you know her only from one tiny <laughs> role in Friends. One Cause I, episode. Because I thought she was so beautiful. <laughs> so, so when he said I was like, yeah, I agree. Oh um, yeah, I agree. She's gorgeous. Oh, but that was so sad. And you're right. I mean, the fact that y you said Sludge and Lucky wrote a book, well, that's a huge spoiler. spoiler yeah, technically that means they survived. They survived. Yeah. But Barcelona. Oh, that's so sad. Like yep. he he could have he could have gone just, home. Yeah, he could have. But he wanted to do more for the Marines. Marines was his home. Yeah. So he died with the Marines on Iwo Jima. That that island was horrible to clear out. I think that was the only island where. Uh, the U.S. suffered more casualties than the Japanese. That's how bad it was. It was ridiculous. They had to clear out bunker by bunker, and that volcano you saw in the distance, it was literally just caves and bunkers inside. They had to clear out. And it was independent independent from the rest of the forces on the island. And they had to go through yeah. Iwo Jima? Yeah, because they wanted the uh, airfield there so they could land bombers. In case, because the bombers, they could get back to the other islands, but they needed a place for emergency landings. For their bombers to keep bombing Japan, so they thought, okay, let's take this piece of shit island, fucking yeah. So that's how it is. And the Japanese general was smarter here. He did not want any bonsai charges. He wanted everyone to hold their ground to the last man. He says attacking will just kill our forces faster. So it's better to just hold your ground and kill as many Americans as possible. He put out like a every man must kill 100 Americans or 10 Americans before they die. Yeah. <laughs> They gave it their best shot. That island was hell for the Marines to take. It was a absolute nightmare. So did they... They waited for them to land, too, on the beach. The beach, we didn't see that part, but they landed. Everything seemed fine. And then they then they unleashed fire on them. Wow. Yeah, it was a... Uh... So Iwo Jima was just nasty. And uh... there's some other historical facts about Iwo Jima. But yeah, so we saw what happened to Barcelona. Sledge is still on uh, P. Th he's still on the rest break, I guess, with Snafu and his boys. To this day, Snafu is still asking if his eyes are yellow. Are my eyes yellow? Oh God! Hope he doesn't die. Actually, I, I, I really hope like his character either. too. He's a fascinating character. Yeah. Can you imagine he survives? Or, like, what do I do now, Sledge? <laughs> he's actually a real life character, right, Shelton? Probably. Yeah. All these people are real. Yeah. So. so. I wonder how long uh, Bastalone was married to to Lena before. Before this whole thing went down, I'm curious. I'm gonna look this up. Sure. Uh, uh, well, it's it's nice that he had a happy marriage, and f he and Lena found each other before. Wow. On February 1945, he was killed in action on the first day of the invasion of Iwo Jima after he single handedly destroyed an enemy blockhouse and led a Marine tank under fire safely through the minefield. Wow. Then he died right there. Wow. So he just... Yeah, they gave him another award. Posthumously. The uh, Navy Cross. Yeah. And he... Oh, so they were married for like a year. Wow. Yeah. Oh, dude, your battery's about to die. That guy's a fucking badass. So, we learned that John Bassalon was a badass. Oh, but those poor other Marines on the beach. Yeah. Everyone. But uh, he trained them the best he could. He yeah. could. And, uh... He showed him how he did it. Fucking Cause he what wanted, a legend. He wanted everyone to survive. To, well, try to survive and... Yeah, he told him to take the Japanese seriously. Keep everyone else alive, yeah. This isn't a game. Mm -hmm. So... I wonder... I wonder how the show, uh... Portrays that part. You, you get what I mean? Because Which is, part? It, is it accurate? Where he would, uh... He yelled at those sergeants. Oh, you and, mean uh, like how... How he was doing training? Yeah, but we don't. Ha he didn't write any books on it, so all we have is witnesses and uh, his wife, basically, 
for uh, for retelling his story in the Pacific. Maybe somebody can give us more of an insight into that. Yeah. Like like said, obviously they just used their writing. First hand experiences. Yeah. Very very first hand. Mm -hmm. Still though, Baslin could have gone out. The general literally told him you could have gone out. You know we'll offer you. You can get we'll kick you out right now. <laughs> but uh, he wanted to go back. He was uh. He he felt that he was a marine through and through. He and so did his being wife. One. Yeah. His wife would understand because she's also. Mm -hmm. She also loves the marines. Yeah. In a way, they were perfect for each other. This show really uh, shows the loyalty of uh, their men to their respective branches. Mm. Men and women. Yeah. Especially. Yep. Sure, add a woman because we literally had a woman in this episode. That's <laughs> Be true. Be part of the reins. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, they're drafting women now in the new bill. <laughs> in the in the service. Yeah, the Just first like thing service. I thought was to, yeah, was to show saw, the Pacific. Yeah, when I saw that, I was like, uh, hmm. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah, that was a, was a, it was a heartwarming episode, and then it ended in uh, great sadness as the show would. It kicked you right in the gut. Yep. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's a very good phrase. Kicked you right in the gut. Mm -hmm. They were so happy in, in their bedroom. I had a then, bad feeling something was going to happen, though. I was wondering when we were going to see you Eugene yeah. and how it was going to be done. And then... Because if it was going to be a typical island clearing episode, they started at the beginning. But since they were leaving towards the end, I was like, oh, hmm, no. 10 minutes? What, what's going to happen in that tiny... Fr it was really intense, though. They really showed that insanely Yeah, that's well. true. They, they showed it the was, insanity and... Yeah. They couldn't even evacuate the, the wounded. And, oh, they couldn't. Yeah, it was, uh, they had to, like, hold in the uh, foxholes there. How and long were they And that night they got pounded, too. By mortars. How long were they fighting for? I don't remember. It took them, like, a... It took them a few days just to advance 800 yards. That's how, that's how tough it was. Yeah. 800 yards. How many men died? Uh, a lot. He's looking enough. Yeah. See, U.S. casualties, 26,000. While the Japanese suffered... Uh, 17 to 18,000, yeah. yeah. But the Japanese were mostly killed, while Americans lost 7,000 killed. So, oh, come on. Yeah. It was a... Uh, that was brutal. I wonder what the next episode is going to show then. But this island was unique where uh, some generals were asking... Admirals were asking, why don't we use poison gas on it? If we're going to clear every goddamn island like this, we're men... All our Americans die every time, then we should be using other methods. But I never went to service. I never uh, used mm -hmm. it. And this island, they were like, okay, if they're fighting this much over this tiny island off Japan, what would the fighting be like in Japan itself? Mm -hmm. So that's why it led to the atomic bombing. I guess they didn't oh, think it was worth geez. it landing. Yeah. So to save lives, they had to kill people. And that fucked up way. Yeah, with the atomic War. bombing. So that and the Soviet invasion convinced the Japanese, yeah, fighting would be pointless. And the Emperor was tired of it, too. So. War. Mm -hmm. I have no words. <laughs> Our dog is having a nightmare outside. I wonder if the mic will pick that up. Uh, yeah, I don't think it will. He's too, she's too far away. Yep, so this was a, a, little, a little slower episode at first. And then the... Remaining pace turned into Pacific action insan insanity and showed how much Vaseline uh, in his final moments was a true inspiration to his men. Yeah, and, uh, this episode basically showed what he was like as a yeah. partner, a husband, a marine, a leader. Dog agrees. <laughs> that was a good episode and a wonderful send-off to John Vaseline, mm -hmm. I think. I wonder what the relatives think. This is the, I wonder if the wife's still alive. Uh, look. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah. Wonderful uh, performances, as usual. Oh, yeah, yeah Baston was The great actor's name. also named John. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's all we have for a discussion for this episode. Yeah, uh, I'm a little speechless. 
sometimes it takes time to absorb. And then later, when yeah. we're not recording our post episode discussion, we think of new stuff to discuss. And by then, we're like, why don't we discuss this in the <laughs> episode discussion? But some stuff doesn't occur to you until after Afterwards. you're done discussing it. So, yeah. It's like you just have a random thought when you're having dinner or whatever. But, yep. Um, but first impressions is like, oh, this is this is sweet. And he was a great leader. That uh, wedding with Elena was beautiful. Mm-hmm. It made me smile. And then suddenly that flip of them on the beach, yeah, get that was horrifying. Mm-hmm. Those are basically my first impressions of this episode. And then his death, which is very sad. Overall, another good episode. Well, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed our reactions to this episode. We'll see you guys for episode 9 when yes. we're going to probably Okinawa, I suspect. Ooh. Yeah. Anyways, so thanks for watching the episode. Take care, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the reactions. Peace.